I took a sell trade on 10 index and the signal was shared just now. I caught these sales at this point. We are moving in small profit, so I was able to predict the sales at this point. More sales expected, basically, long term sales expected at least to this level. I'm expecting the sales to this level on this index, right? At least to this level, our first target level and our second target level at this point. So, what's the market analysis on this index? We'll be looking into all of that in today's video. So, first, I went to the weekly time frame, right? And identified the market structure and saw that we had a level basically let me clear this thing let me clear our charts so you can have a clear chart right and so that we have a level a level identified a key level of resistance that got broken turn support right now we have this level as a key level of resistance and you can see that we got past market reaction on this level as resistance price sold from here sold from here again as a resistance right so from here against the resistance and we have these uh market structure price is an uptrend basically right it's creating these higher highs and higher lows heading to the upside we got the trend support at that point and we have our trend resistance at this point i identified this market structure properly and I made sure that i had my zones identified well so what's the market situation on this index i'm expecting the sales to this level to this trend support to this point i'm expecting this index to sell more in the coming days weeks and hours right so have this level identified as well as the level watching out for price to sell to this index you can tell that we got price react on this level a couple of times as a resistance and as a support first reaction on this level here resistance resistance support here resistance support at this point resistance so i'm expecting price to sell to this level for the buys in the coming days for the long term buys basically on this index and bring up our fibonacci too for more confirmations from the swing lows to the swing highs right we can tell that we got the 6.8 level at this point which is a good adjustment point we got the 6.8 level at this zone which is close to our buy zone so i'm expecting the sales to that level on this index so i got into the trade by identifying the market levels and zones and working alongside the market transaction we have this level as a level of support a previous level of support that got broken on resistance here support at this zone support here got broken resistance at this point so the sell was expected basically so i was able to get into the trade on this index i went to the daily time frame and uh, identified this current market structure this downtrend formation prices and we got this uh lower high structure which I identified right we got this lower high structure let's put this here we got price create this lower highs formation which is a bearish structure and whenever the market is in a downtrend look out for more of sell opportunities right and whenever the market is in an uptrend look out for more of buy opportunities so as we got markets being a downtrend at this point I had my focus on the sell side of the market and we had the level that price has been holding on a level of support that got broken at this point this level was level of support here support at this zone support here we got multiple tests on this level as a support the first test here when you move our chart you can see that price worked on this level previously as a resistance or as a support right you can see it here resistance resistance right resistance couple of reaction on this level still resistance at this point so as this zone basically i had this level identified and I watched out for this level for a possible break and test on it for the sales. We got a support here, support here, support here. Whenever a support level is broken, it turns to resistance. Adding to the downtrend structure, we got pricing. Right, coming to the four time frame, it's seen that there was a level which I identified. We had this level, a key level of support. This is like a break and test approach, right? All I did was wait for price to break below this level. Then the retest on it, I took my sales. You can see I'm moving in good profit rate, moving nicely well. I bring up my Fibonacci too from the swing highs to the swing lows. You can see that this level is exactly on the 50.0 retracement level, which is a good retracement point. So I'm expecting more sales on this index. I'll be having my first TP level at this zone basically. First TP level will be at that level. And our second TP level is likely to be at this point. Second TP level is likely to be at this zone. And our last TP level would be at this point so that's why i took this trade on this index i also came to the one hour time frame to have a clear view and a good entry point you can see moving in good profit when i started this video trade was just at this point so just at this zone trade was just at this point and i have moved in good profit i'm moving in good profit more sales expected on this index basically 
add my sl at this zone add my sl at this point right above this structure so the cell is expected we have a couple of minutes for this one our candle to close so if this candle can close in this bearish formation definitely we are getting more cells on this index at least to this previous level of resistance turn support at this point because price likely to buy from this level so that's how i took the sell trade on this index also as expected you guys can see how i'm moving in good profit how this trade is moving well right so that's how i took the trade on this index working with market price action identifying the market key levels and zones right so smile like button for more trade review like this and market analysis don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and to my tiny viewers i appreciate the support for engaging my videos chilling me a lot guys let's do more and have enough with